often forget. Um, right, we're underway. Um, welcome, everyone. We're we're waiting for a few more people. Um, we've just got um, a few more expected to come, so I might give them another minute or so to um, collect and and get their links sorted. Uh, but the um, session today will be uh, recorded so that we can put it up on the website for uh, other people to to chew to to look at and to um, we've got um, video. Uh, be mindful that everyone can see your video. So unless you choose um, to have it on um, black, make sure that you're okay with that. And uh, I have the chat box up. So if you'd like to make any comments or um, ask questions, you're most welcome. Uh, I'm also going to, I've left time at the end of the session to go through questions and also to take you through the website uh, links. So if you've got a spare computer, or another screen that you can go through um, and have a look at our website uh, later on in the session, that would be probably handy as well. So um, we'll might get started very shortly, give it another minute and, um, and we'll get there. So I might start with the acknowledgement of country. Are we sharing? You are sharing the screen. Excellent. Um, uh, to those acknowledgement of country, for those gathered here, we recognise the traditional owners of the land on which we stand throughout New South Wales and honour elders past, present and emerging and those here with us. And our intention for today is that the mathematical learning taking place will benefit all our leaders for tomorrow, which would be great. Uh, our wonderful competition has been running for many years and it is uh, a wonderful opportunity for students to, to demonstrate their uh, ex ex the extent of their knowledge in mathematics and the breadth of their investigations that they have going. Um, it really gives them an opportunity to work like mathematicians, which is really what we want them to be doing. Uh, each year, um, winners of each category, and the three categories are the individual, a small group, or a class, um, will have the winners are then entered into the national competition, which is curated by the AAMT, the Australian Association of Maths Teachers, um, and they are then party to have being able to access a national award, which is a, a wonderful achievement for our students. Uh, in New South Wales, the new Young Scientist Competition, which has a new name, and I couldn't, I've been waiting on an email back from um, Stuart Garth, who organises it, um, but they have a mathematics focus, which is um, an opportunity, uh, again, for a statewide competition for um, some of the the investigations would fit that criteria so they are uh you're more than welcome to enter that so who can enter our competition which is uh fabulous all students from kindergarten to year 12 can enter um and they are submitted on either an individual and we have a few people who've already um inquired who are not going through a school but a parent has already in inquired for individuals our small group uh which is a maximum of five people or children and a class entry. So there, there's a range of ways that you can enter the competition. Information for teachers on our website, we've got some great resources um, prepared by uh, Karen McDade and a few other people, which are really wonderful to um, help support students in their quest and teachers. Um, but the, uh, the important thing when we're doing an investigation is to have a, there's a series of steps which you might want to, um, to follow. Um, getting to know the situation, formulating questions, which is always a great way to start any investigation, working systematically and finding ways in which to do that, making and testing conjectures, explaining or justifying results, um, extending the situation by formulating further questions and then 
summarising their findings. So um, our students in the past have done paper copies, but um, all entries as of the last two or three years have been done electronically. So they need to have a, a, a sample of their journal, which might be their book work, and also a completed uh, PowerPoint demonstrating their knowledge and um, their findings. The competition has a rubric that is uh, all work is judged by, so that it's it's um, double marked by two teachers to ensure uh, fairness and accuracy. And the um, criteria is set out on the um, Investigating with Mathematics rubric. It's uh, nice and clear, and I would recommend um, all teachers and students to look closely at the criteria so that um, you ensure that you are fulfilling that when you enter it with your students. Um, the range of, of problem solving strategies that you uh, brainstorm with your students when they get started will help them to work through the problems um, and to be able to demonstrate the different strategies, problem solving strategies that they're able to um, implement. When we um, have, uh, I guess the students have their investigations, some of the work, and I have an example a little bit further on by one of our previous um, section winners, um, Luke Carr from Blue Mountains Grammar, and he has formulated a, a, a a way in which um, his students fulfil this sort of investigation um, criteria. So he started starts off. We suggested that they start off with an abstract, mathematical aims for the investigation, observations and results, discussions of relevant relevance of the result, the conclusion that they have their references and acknowledgements because especially students, especially kindergarten people, obviously uh, require assistance, not just from the teacher, but usually parents as well, and evidence of their own work. So they need to have um, evidence of their work, a journal that they add as an appendix to their entry. So when you're planning your investigation with students, the idea is that students plan and undertake the, the activity, the investigation, they um, keep a journal of their thoughts and methods of investigations and their findings, and they prepare a PowerPoint um, to demonstrate their knowledge and understanding. It's really fantastic if a teacher then just supports them along the way, maybe assists them in their planning and their, at their various levels, and then checks the mathematics. You would be surprised at the number of um, incorrect mathematical um, annotations that come through. So. It's really, it is a maths competition. And when they go on to a higher level at national, we need to make sure we can send through um, mathematically correct activities. Uh, the upload, you've got time until the 29th of July to upload, to, to prepare the investigation, to work on the investigation. Um, and then from the 29th to the 31st of July, we will have the upload so that um, fair and even uh, for all participants that the entries are uploaded and um, there for everyone to, to do. It's a really nice thing um, between now and then. Some of the activities might be either some sort of additional homework project. Uh, it could be an extension activity for your higher achieving students. It could be a whole class activity for a lower esteem achieving students. Um, the idea is to enthuse and ignite investigations into the why of mathematics, and I guess to um, make it fun and exciting for students. On our website, we've collated uh, a range of activities that um, are either from past investigating with maths competitions or with MAV competitions or the national comp. And they're readily available on our website that you can do it like, you know, what is the average height for an AFL player? Um, what is the maths and taking a perfect selfie, those sort of things. So there's some great ideas there. I've got a few selections that I, I've pulled out from previous competitions. Um, this comes from um, Arden School where the year six students made origami frogs and they were testing which frog, 
which particular origami folding system worked best and which would then um, determine which frog species will qualify first in the 100 metre 4x4 relay. And they had um, some wonderful statistical software using tinker plots to graph and plot their work. So it was a bit of fun. Um, um, but be aware that when you're trying to teach, for example, with this project, um, this is a kindergarten project that they had um, looked at, um, does a basketball go faster than a tennis ball? So they had to make sure from the teaching point of view that we we ensured that, or the teacher ensured that they had repeated measures, that they had a variability in responses. So including outliers, that it was a fair test some technical skills such as using um, stopwatches and recording, uh, numerical skills such as placing on a, numbers on a number line, equal spacing concepts, early graphing, and um, faster equals smaller, which is a tricky one that um, they had to come up with, and they did in a nice summary. And this is a, a, just an example of what the, the kids were doing to record their information. Really nice and simple, um, just a lovely way of exploring mathematics. Last year we had an entry that went one at, at both state and at um, national level and it came from our friend Luke Carr at Blue Mountains Grammar and his student looked at um, why do magpies swoop. Um, he, she found out um, from doing her research on um, uh, Emma Glenfield was the girl's name. She did some amazing research and she was featured on the ABC morning show. Craig Rucastle talked to her, talked about her. And um, but she did some groundbreaking research, which actually other people are using um, because she'd found out that most of the people in um in not just in the observation she made, but across uh, a range of uh, she put out Google survey. Um, the people, the most people that got swooped were male, tall, had thin or receding hair, which is an interesting observation. So she was able to pull that together, which was a really nice little research um, section. Uh, so to get started, we often, um, it's good to start early. Uh, and this obviously on our website, we've collated a whole range of resources for you. Um, we like to, to give students various ideas and inspiration, I would suggest that you sit with your students and do um, a brainstorming session, look at what their personal interests are, their hobbies, what topics do they enjoy, finding something they would like to explore. They could even consider national or global issues as a topic choice. But there's 110 on our website, um, but it's all about keeping all that information in the journal as they go, um, and that can be scanned in to make a PDF to send with um, the entry as a PowerPoint as you move forward. So this is just a quick example of um, if a topic is water, water everywhere, um, if you had to sit down and brainstorm with your students, what are the sort of things that you might investigate? So you might have the topic, you list your questions, write down all the mathematics that's involved in something like that. So there's some examples here. Um, if you were doing a water, water everywhere table, you might gather data using tables. You could be graphing, choosing um, correct graph and making conjectures, comparing data and calculating with money. You could be doing area and cap capacity, volume capacity, calculating with money, percentages, division, multiplication, um, using all of those focus areas to help build student knowledge, but getting them to explore and investigate. Uh, in depth. The key note, um, key information to note is um, it's fine to, um, if you could register before the 29th of July, it gives us an idea of how many people are entering. Um, but the key date is that 29th of, to the 31st of July for uploading. And then most of August is used for marking. And then we will have a state ceremony on the 6th of September. Uh, at that time, a lot of the um, awards have been sent away for national judging and the national awards, which is an online ceremony, which will be held on the 15th of October. So plenty of um, 
warning is always good. And I just think uh, add them to your diary so you've got them there to move on with. But why enter? Um, from the years that I've been working with this, it's just the most amazing competition. Promotes interest in and increases the awareness of mathematics. Uh, it facilitates the integration of learning outcomes across all sections of um, mathematics across the KLA's other curriculum areas within the cur curriculum. Uh, it develops student research and communication skills, encourages students to verify, justify, and reason their results in their investigation, equips students with problem-solving strategies, provides students with an opportunity to discover the practical application of mathematics, supports independent and collaborative learning, um, and allows all students to achieve some measure of success and caters for mixed ability teaching uh, differentiation and uh, different learning styles and, uh, across the board. On our website, there's a couple of different um, examples to help support students. Uh, one of them, the Wungara entry, is uh, a wonderful entry where uh, Wungara Public School, which is up on the Central Coast, where they um, were organising the um, a, a competi competition they organised, they were investigating how to make the, the library better. And the nice thing is that they did all the brainstorming, they put the activities together, they did the measuring, they they collated data, they went shopping, they did all these wonderful things. And um, so there's the journal there with the presentation that they um, were entering. And they won both at, Reed, at New South Wales level and at national level, which was um, fabulous. And again, the other example that I've put up here is all about apples, which is a, a great shopping exp, um, exploration that was done with Arden, all about apples. And so again, they have their journal and their um, winning um, investigation, which is nice. So uh, I've just got an example here. Blue, Luke Carr from Blue Mountains Grammar has done a bit of a, he has a pro forma that he follows, which we have the link for on the website. And it's simply just a lot of empty places, pages for these kids to add, whether they do one, two or three or more pages for each one, it's not really a big, big deal because it's all uploaded digitally. Um, so tuning into student thinking, finding out, so the gathering of information, when they think about their, what they're inquiring about, looking at what is the mathematics, and then um, inquiry into um, the different things, We're making sure you've got a few syllabus links there to help support that. And when you're going through a variety of, of ways to investigate, you could come up with all sorts of things, um, some great um, acting and applying where the children are sharing their new learning and they reach their conclusions, their referencing and acknowledgements towards the end. So hopefully in their activities, they will have um, used as many of those problem solving strategies as they can. And um, what we've tried to do is make it as simple as possible is to um, have all this available on the website. And uh, if you have additional questions at any time, more than happy to have you um, email admin at mansoir.nsw.edu.au and we can then forward um, some specific replies for you. Uh, if I, uh, we've got 10 minutes left. I thought if we wanted to, we could have a look at the website and ask questions, um, or if you can feel free to open the mic now and ask questions, it would be more than um, uh, appropriate to, to share your thoughts. Anybody got a question they need need answered? We've answered all the questions, made it clear, hopefully. Fiona, what would happen if I had an issue? Is there a contact that I should, should I contact you? Um, admin is the easiest way, that email through admin at mansua.nsw.edu.au, which was on the um, the slide. Um, and it should be a really easy option. Um, we get back to people within 24 hours, 48 hours or so. 
Thanks, Miriam. Coming up with questions. Yeah, I'm trying good. to think. I'm trying to think of the things that normally go wrong, and it's usually a last minute technical error on submission. Yeah, so. and that sort of thing is is easy to set up, and and to um, we have workarounds that we've put into place if people have issues. We do have have had a few issues where some schools have a very heavy firewall and don't allow them to be uploaded. Um, so they have to make sure that your entry is um, saved as a Google Doc or um, another way of um, saving it so that everyone can get through it. Chelsea seems like she's all over it and ready to um, to jump in. So that'll be great. Um, it should be a really, it's it's a wonderful competition. And I just think it's it's fabulous that kids have the opportunity to share their thoughts. Are there any other questions? I don't have a question, Fiona. Yeah. But I would like, I know there's not too many people here and, and most of the people that are on are people who have been involved with the IWM for a long time, but I would certainly encourage anybody who's watching this video at a later stage that it is a fantastic opportunity to encourage your children to engage in the real work of mathematicians as opposed to just doing maths. So, you know, I, I'd certainly encourage anybody and, and there's lots and lots of people who would support you in that at, through Mansua and I would certainly be happy to do that. Fabulous. Thanks, Karen. Any other thoughts or questions? I'd also just like to mention about um, the opportunity um, about marking these um, fantastic projects because it just opens your eyes to different ideas and different things and it, it's amazing what some schools and what some kids do and it's not the other thing I'd also like to make a point about is that it's not just academic kids um it's it's all it's level all children it's amazing it is for it is the differentiation is there it is open for everybody and everybody can access um I think back to my kiddies who did really well a couple of years ago and you know what it did for them to achieve at this level was amazing. Um, they, they got a lot out of it. So I yeah, highly encourage other people to be involved. Fabulous. Yeah, it's um, marking is great. We need markers um, on and off through August. Um, we try not to make it too onerous and too heavy with everybody's workload, but there's an opportunity to have outstanding professional learning to see what is available and what is able to be achieved um, and what how, how wonderful kids' minds are at, at, at building the investigation. So highly recommend it. I think some of those U10 ones we've marked in the last couple of years have just blown my mind. They're just amazing, absolutely amazing what they produce. Yeah, one of the, the chaps went on to enter in the American maths fair and, and one over there too so yeah we've sort of we, we're doing very well the kids do have a, they get the opportunity to build a whole lot of um confidence in mathematics okay so with that i might just stop the recording thanks for for listening and and um please join us at mantua and the Investigative Maths Competition.